And when will you take time to share? Because the problem is right here, right now. You see, there's a truth that lies behind our lies. The sky is behind our truth, lies the truth. Failing to hear the cries of youth, another dream dies. It's proof, proof of our lack of concern. It's the fact that we lack and to learn the root cause and effect. We neglect to protect our children. More concerned with our own financial plans for the building than the impact of youth programs losing their funds. Who is willing to save these kids before they start using them guns? Me, myself, I'm tired of fathers and daughters losing sons and daughters to senseless slaughters. Tired of AIDS programs having to beg for them quarters. The system is out of order. The system is out of order. And it's now time we make our voice be heard. Get out there and get the vote. But today you're going up to, you're going up to the state house. I want you to tell your story. I want you to tell, if you're getting a summer job to help with your family, you're gonna tell them that. If you're getting a summer job to help with your education, you're gonna tell somebody that. If you're getting a summer job, whatever it is, tell your story. Yeah. 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 the streets of Boston, advocating for more jobs for you. Yes. And it's a beautiful thing right now because there's a lot of people here. I'm here today to fight for jobs for teens. You see, my past experience has taught me how important it is for teens to have a chance to make some money, learn skills, and find out what's important in life. When I was going to middle school and high school, I spent most of my time goofing around and getting in all kinds of trouble. I wanted to be just like my brother. I wanted to be a hood dude. And I wanted everybody around me to fear me. I mean, in my perspective, I thought I was being tough, but what I really was being a follower. But I paid a heavy price for being a follower. I ended up going to jail th on three different occasions and losing some of my closest friends to the hood life. I had to pay for my mistakes before I got the chance to make a better future for me and my soon to be newborn daughter when she comes into this world. So when, <laughs> so when the leaders of our state consider the budget for next year, they need to understand that investing in jobs for the youth for today is the best way to ensure a better future tomorrow. Thank you. It's a bunch of kids. We actually this year split up into different sections, going to a financial district, state house. We're just out here fighting for youth jobs and trying to get the funding again. And hopefully this year they really realize all the private sector and all the businesses, large corporations, maybe they realize that maybe this year, you know what, we need to focus on our youth, our youth, our future, everybody says that, but you know what, they're our present. You're going to look at all the all the issues happening and all that, the youth are really affected by it. People don't really realize it, but you know what, it's true, so. Alright, so we're all here today, alongside with our allies, to make it clear that youth across Massachusetts need jobs. And that we have the power to win the jobs that we need. I mean, look at the power in this room. Make some noise. That's right. That's right. We've come together from all over the state to make this point clear to our elected officials and to companies here in Massachusetts. But this is not for the first time. In 2009, legislator, legislature cut funding for our summer jobs in 2010. This is when Youth Jobs Coalition was born. In 2010, we marched for the first time and we both and we met with both legislator and the governor. And as a result of that, we won 2,400 jobs. My name is William Friedberg, and I work as a community organizer in Belmont for Wymore, Boston Mobilization, and Suburban Justice. The work we've done over the past few years made me see not only how to give back to my community, but that I have a community to give back to. A few years ago, my job prospect in Belmont looked slim outside of scooping ice cream. Getting involved in civil or political work meant looking well outside my community. So I was very lucky to find paid local work with Boston Mobilization. Having a job focus on local issues showed me that I was capable of affecting change. But these jobs were only available to me because of state funding. So I would like to thank the legislators in here who invested in me. Because of them, I understand local politics, I can run voter turnout campaigns, and you can bet your state dollars that I will reinvest those skills in my community in the future.